Asia has likewise had sharp cultural divisions, many growing out of its geography. The world's highest mountain range, the Himalayas, have separated Asia's two great ancient civilizations, those of China and India, which developed independently of one another to a greater extent than any of the civilizations of Europe or the Middle East. China, in particular, was a world of its own, and clearly the most advanced nation on earth for many centuries. One sign of its preeminence was that Chinese goods were for long in great demand in Europe, while Europe had nothing to offer in return except gold and silver. The compass was in use in China's maritime trade decades before it was introduced to Europeans by the Arabs, and books were printed in China centuries before the Gutenberg Bible was printed in Europe. Chinese silks and porcelain were in demand in Asia, Europe, and Africa. While Chinese culture had a major impact on the cultures of Korea and Japan, and an influence felt as far away as Persia and Russia, there were few external cultural influences on China itself from the 8th through the 13th centuries. Yet very little of China's culture was spread by migration, certainly nothing to compare with the later massive spread of European culture to the Western Hemisphere not only by the movement of millions of Europeans, but also by the Europeanization of both the indigenous populations of the Western Hemisphere and the millions of descendants of Africans brought to the New World.